the black horse lettering blue for the new Tacoma Sport Bar. everybody how are you today pretty excited here I'm ready to get on with this project right we did the unboxing the other day the next logical step to me seems to be going ahead and painting this strip in here which is just attached on the back blue so that it matches the truck now I had mentioned in the other video I did have some OEM paint uh, and I did but it's I don't know if there's enough here to be honest so I did find uh, because I didn't want to wait some other blue paint and it looks like a pretty darn close match to me i don't know uh, if you guys can tell the difference it looks pretty close to me so if i should not have enough of this it's going to be this we shall see but first things first uh, we need to remove the little panel on the back here so that we can make this lettering blue pretty simple it's two 10 millimeter of course goes right along with the Toyota Tacoma theme, right? Two 10 millimeter bolts, or nuts, I should say. So let's uh, let's get these off and then scratch them up and get them painted. Okay, should come off pretty easy, I hope. Um, I can't imagine they're on there very tightly, but because they are just plastic. But let's go ahead and find out. This is kind of modding the mod, if you will, right? I've done this before. Um, so, I just want to make sure that we can actually get these bolts, or actually, they're affixed uh, to the unit here itself. Get you guys down a little. So, the bolts themselves are not going to come out, just the nuts. That's good. So, we should be able to just remove this little panel, I hope. And we can, it just comes right off. Uh, that's all there is to it, so... We're just going to paint this thing. I'll get the other one off, then we'll scratch these up and get them painted. We've got them both off. Um, again, they're just little plastic pieces, not much to them. I think this company will actually send you different colors if you ask, too. I didn't, so my loss, I guess. I'm just going to use, uh, I think this is an 80 grit sandpaper. We're just going to rough these things up a little bit, and uh, then we're going to take them outside and paint them. And don't forget, if you're doing something like this, get some alcohol, just rubbing alcohol, and clean these off to give your paint the best chance to adhere. One other thing I'm going to do, I am going to spray a little bit of primer on there too, let this dry just to give it the best chance, just to kind of do it right. So, let's uh, go ahead and rub these down with some rubbing alcohol. Not very complicated. There we go. Now, we'll just let those dry for a couple minutes. Rubbing alcohol uh, evaporates pretty darn quickly, so you should be able to head straight out and get the coating on, the uh, primer rather. It might be a little bit loud outside. The next door neighbors are doing some power washing, but we're going to soldier through because that's what us Tacoma modders do, right? So, I have uh, the primer here ready to roll. I'll show you real quick what I'm going to do there, and then we'll move on to the blue. We'll let that dry for a couple minutes and then we're going to see if I have enough uh, OEM blue. If not, we're going to go with the other. It's been a few minutes, should be dry enough for the blue. Again, I'm not sure if I have enough of this. I, I hope so. So we're going to go ahead and put it on. Here we go.
Okay, that was a resounding fail. I do not have enough, so we're gonna switch to uh, the other blue that I have, which again, I think uh, is pretty good. I don't think there'll be a problem, so let me shake that up and we'll come back. Okay, here we go with the other blue. Again, this is sail blue. That's not too bad. I think it's going to be a pretty darn close match. Uh, I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes, then we'll go with coat number two. I'll probably put, I don't know, two or three or four coat, coats on, something like that. Again, it is just the backing for the letters, so it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll never see it. Okay, here is the finished product. You guys can see there. I think it's a pretty good match. I mean, granted, it's not the OEM version, right? But I think it's pretty good if you hold that up against the truck um, and it's lighting too but I can tell you it's, uh, it's a pretty good match. I think it's going to be just fine. So now we've got that done. Now it's time to go ahead and start the assembly of that sport bar. Can't wait to do that. Uh, that's going to be a separate video of course because again this video is going to be three days long if I put it all together. So it will be part three, I guess, of, uh, of the assembly. Check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and film all of that. Uh, we'll get it put together and then probably give uh, these little strips maybe two or three days to dry just to make sure that they're nice and dry. Uh, fortunately, they can actually be put on these pieces after they're assembled on the truck because you'll have access still to the back, I believe. So I don't have to wait for these to dry to go ahead and get everything set up. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Is the color match? I think it's close enough. I think it's real close. Also, would you have gone with a color matched letter backing or just left it red? Probably depends on the theme of your truck. Don't think red would have really matched up too well with what I've got going on. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Also, I have a third channel now. It's Rob Motive Civic, if you're into Civics, the Honda Civic, of course. Um, it's got some old videos on there for now. Gonna have some new stuff coming. Real quick, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the exciting finish of this mod. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.